Welcome everybody to My AI Live. Today is Monday, July 8th. My AI Live, we get together every Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific. And we're learning about the amazing My AI system. We are also showing you how to get very consistent in social media and consistent in everything you're doing. So consistency is king. We know that. And it's the most important thing that you can do in anything that building your business. And so for many of us who have been getting together for years like this, like Coach Paul and myself and Jenny and many other people here, we've been doing this for years. And it has actually changed our businesses completely to the point that we usually have too many people to talk to which is great, right? Now, how do you get there? You get there by getting consistent. And so let's go and a wonderful PG. PJ kept it going through the weekend with consistency and that's what you wanna do. You wanna come here every Monday through Friday and do the work. And then on the weekends, it feels weird not to do the work. And so, because that habit is built. So let's get started here today. And if you are brand new, please put a one in the chat for me. One in the chat if you are brand new. Put a number two in the chat. If, uh, let's see, something, if you have only been here a couple of times, put a two. And if you've been here for a while and you've been learning some great things, put some sevens in there for me. Sevens for everybody who has been learning some great things. Look at all those wonderful sevens. Got a couple of ones here today too. Sophie's new and Carol's new. Great to see you. Look at all my sevens. We've got Mary and Cheryl and Deborah and another Mary and Shelly and PJ and Bruce and uh, Yolanta and Vicky and Nina. Ben's brand new. Yay, Ben. And Trisha and Shannon and Eloise and Keisha. Good to see you, Keisha. Glad you're here. Diane's here. Mike Navarro's here. Here comes Coach Jenny. Okay. So we're learning some great things. Okay. So on Mondays, let's talk about Mondays real quick, and then let's give you a couple of ideas. So on Mondays, we usually like to reach the person who had to go to work and had to get up and didn't want to, right? For a lot of us, we're full-time in our businesses now, and that's that's quite a blessing to not have to be under somebody else's thumb, right? To not have to have that oh my gosh, I've got to answer to this person 40 hours or plus a week and stuff like that. That's a pretty fantastic thing, you know, when you get to that. But many people aren't there yet. And many people don't know that they could have a different life, that they could have something different. And so Mondays, a lot of times we reach out to the person who had to get up and go to work this morning and didn't want to. He didn't feel like this was the thing that they wanted to do, Right. Now, that's one thing we could do on Mondays. And for those of you who have been with me for a while, feel free to make that your Monday um, your Monday post, talking to that person. Remember, when we go to make a post, the number one intention first is we have to set the intention of what we want from the post. People just randomly throw stuff out there. But when we set intention. I want to have conversations about my product. I want to have conversations about my business. And now we make a post that leads to those things. That can be great. Now, for Monday, if you're posting about remembering what it was like to have to get up at 4 a.m. to go to a job you didn't like, being away from kids or family or anything else. Nina used to work like, Nina doesn't mind me talking about her because she shares, she's an open book. And I love Nina. Nina used to work like hours and hours and hours and hours on movie sets, like 80 hours a week, more, like live on a movie set when they were going. Now that's exciting, but uh, that also takes away your whole life. It doesn't give you the freedom to go to the beach. She was just at the beach this weekend. If you saw her post on Facebook, right? She was at the beach. It doesn't allow you to do those things. And so she can go back and talk to the person, especially even the hairstylists and stuff that are friends on our Facebook and say, you know what? I, it, it was great, everything we did, and it was such an adventure, right? And it was so much fun. But you know what I found is more fun in my life right now? The next chapter of my life, which is freedom and the beach and, and health and wealth and being able to help so many people and hanging out with her dog, Atticus. She can talk about these things, the things that are important to her, her heart, right? So remember, you're reaching out to people who need you, who need your message, who need your testimonial, who need your story. So that's one of the things that you can do on Monday. Now, for some of you, you may be like, 
All right, Elizabeth. I don't have a story yet. I don't know what I want to post on, and I'm not ready to post that one. You got another idea for me. I do. I want to show you something else today that we haven't talked about a little bit recently, but I do want to make sure that you know about it. Now, first, I'm going to show you where your replay is going to be for this event. So we're streaming live into Facebook. And if you come over here to the official corporate now site group, you are going to be able to see your replay. And then you're also going to be able to see all of the announcements, all of the other things going on. These things are, um, everything's going to be in here. So you want to make sure that you are a part of this, that you, uh, sorry, things are popping up weird on my computer. Okay. Now, if you want to know more about me, you're brand new here. My name's Elizabeth Larson. You can find me here at E Transforms You. I'll put this in the chat. This is how you are going to share your social media page if you're going to actually showcase a post today. So you'll take the website address URL to your actual social media page, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever it is, Alignable. And you're just going to put it in the chat like that. So my name is Elizabeth Larson. I'm a personal business transformation coach. I am a teacher, speaker, author, trainer. I am a network marketing professional. I have been doing, I have been teaching social media, building online and building relationships online for over 10 years. I started with uh, an essential oil company that has grown to a very, very large company. Um, and that's where I started on their stages and teaching through websites and blogging and social media. And so I've been doing this for a very, very long time. And I absolutely love what I do. Honored to be able to do this for NailSite. Now, let's get over here so I can show you what we're doing, right? So this is the system. There's three things we do each day, right? We post on social media, we comment on other people's posts, and we start a conversation. We post on social media, we comment on other people's posts, and we start conversations, okay? Now, posting on social media is our message outwards, right? That's like what I was talking about early today. One of the messages that are great on Mondays is being able to talk to the person who is still stuck in the job, right? Who had to get up. That's one of the things that we can do on Mondays. That's one of the messages we can put out. It can also be a testimonial and other things. But sometimes, honestly, you wake up, and Paul, I don't know how many times this happens to you, but sometimes you wake up and you're just like, I don't know what it is. Somebody is me signing in. That's interesting. Um, so sometimes we have no idea what it is that we want to do, right? We're like, you know what? I'm not inspired. I am not inspired to do anything, right? So here's something that we can do. If you're not inspired, you have two options, okay? We have two great things on the platform that will help you when you don't know what you want to write, you have no clue. One, you could come over here to Facebook and you could actually scroll, right? So you can come and scroll and find something that inspires you. Um, so find something that inspires you and then you can do a make it your own. The make it your own. Some of these posts that people make are just weird. <laughs> just like, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, let's do this one. Happy Monday, go-getters. It's the start of a new week brimming with potential. Let's channel the ambitious spirit of those who inspire us. Napoleon Hill said... The starting point of all achievement is desire. Love that. Harness your aspirations like I channel my passion for health and entrepreneurship. Let's set monumental goals and crush them. How are you kickstarting your success this week? Okay, this is a fantastic post, right? Love this. So this is what we're going to do. What we'll do is we're going to screenshot this. So if you're ever lost and you don't know what to post, you can go and find it through the news feed. You can even come over to my page, scroll mine, you know, do a make it your own off of any of mine. Feel free, feel free to use any of it. Like seriously, copy it, throw it in there. Um, great way of being able to get a terrific post. Now we're going to click this one right here, make it my own. We're going to upload 
And now I am going to, right here, I'm going to upload the screenshot of that post into here. Now everybody sees that? You see that? Screenshot's right there. I'm not even going to give it any additional instructions, but I could if I wanted to. Okay. But I'm just going to hit generate. And I want you to see what the system will do with that terrific post, right? So you find a post that you like, and then you do this. Okay. Happy Monday, achievers. Next week equals new beginnings. Let's harness that drive. Just like Tony Robbins said, the only limit to your impact is your imagination and commitment. Shift from dreaming to doing. Let's set goals and break them. How are you starting strong this week? Okay, now I have a couple of options here, right? I could come over here to change image. I could do an image search and I could find something where I could put the writing on it, right? So I like this photo right here. This is pretty cool. And then I could add some text to the image. Okay, so I'm going to increase the font size. Now, if you are making this on uh, Instagram, you are going to want to do more of a square shape. If you are doing this on Facebook and you're going to put a photo of yourself too and have two photos, you're going to want to do that same shape as an Instagram. If you're doing this by itself, you could just leave it you know, big like that. And you can also move this around, right? So I'm gonna make the font size just a little smaller because I am going to make this shorter and I'm gonna make her right in the middle. Now I'm gonna hit okay. Then I'm going to bring this in and make it that smaller square size, right? And then I'm going to say add. Now I could have darkened the background a little bit just to make the font pop a little high, uh, better, but that's okay. Good enough. All right. Now remember, you can also do uh your formatting in here and add some things as well so happy monday achievers next week equals new beginnings i'm gonna actually say not next week because it's the beginning of the week and i'm gonna say today equals new beginnings let's harness that drive just like tony robbins said the only limit to your impact is your imagination and commitment shift from dreaming to doing set those goals and break them how are you starting strong this week? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, you get to decide what kind of life you are going to have. Hmm. You get to decide the life you live. Why? 
give you some tips that helped me. Okay. Remember, you get to decide the life you live. If you want to change your life, let's talk. I can give you some tips that helped me. I'm going to actually put some space in there. All right. Now, again, I can take this to Facebook. I can take this to Instagram. I have all of this in here, right? Now, I want to show you something. If I go over to Instagram, it's going to write this for Instagram. But look at this, you guys. This is something new. It actually keeps some of the stuff that I put in for the Facebook of the edits. Now, this is really nice. Even though it's kind of writing for that platform, it does keep some of that stuff. So remember, you decide the life you live. If you're looking to make a change, let's chat. I have some tips that worked wonders for me. So it took that same concept and put it over here, right? Okay. Now, if I go and click get started, I'm going to post. I'm going to download that photo, right? And then I'm going to hit post right here. I'm going to come over to Instagram. I'm going to click here. I'm going to select from computer. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. See how it fits in there? Now, if I would have left it really wide, that wouldn't have fit in there, right? So I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit next again. And then... I'm going to put this right here. Now, I am going to make sure that I have not, so it, it, that I have some white space in there, right? It actually looks okay. It's not too bad. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now I'm going to click sharing. Once I hit sharing, post has been shared. Now I'm set. Now, if I come over and look at my post, there it is right there, along with a lot of the other things that I've made from the Now site platform. Now, if I come over here to Facebook, which is really the home that I use, and people say Facebook is dead, it's not dead. It is nowhere even close to being dead. Okay, so I can come back over here to Facebook and I could do the same thing. Now I hit get started, post. I don't need to download the photo again, right? I'm gonna come over here. All right, got that. Now, I'm going to put my post in, right? And then I'd like to find another picture. Do I have another picture? Okay, I'll put that one in. And then... I want to add more. Let me see if I've got some recent ones that I can throw in here. So I'll just show you how to do this, even though I'm not going to keep this photo in here. Okay, so. So if you do two photos... And the one photo is a um, is the size that you would use in Instagram. They should uh, show up side by side, right? If you use a big one, then they'll show up one on top of another. So let's take a look and see how this looks. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit post. All right, here we go. Now, side by side, remember... Portrait or square will show up next to each other. Landscape will show up on top of each other. So you can also do photos like this. And now I've got my post done. So due to rising costs, dirty deeds are no longer done dirt cheap. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, so that's hilarious. That will actually get somebody to stop if anybody knows that song. All right, let's go ahead and do our five minutes. So a couple of ideas for your post to use. Number one. You can either talk about what it was like for you when you used to have to work a job that you did not like and now how you get to do your business and how grateful you are. Number one, that's one. 
Number two, you could do a make it your own and find somebody else's post that you like, copy it. Feel free to go to my, my profile, use anything on there. Just copy it, throw it in the nail site, make it your own. I, I'm perfectly fine with that. All of that's made with the nail site program. Number three, last one that you could do if you're truly stuck and you're just like, I didn't find anything. I don't, don't worry. We got you, especially when you're brand new. You can come over here. You can come to post on social media and you can click this button right here. You can simply click the surprise me. If you really have no vision of what you want to do, that's perfectly fine. There's days I wake up and I'm just like, I have no idea what I want to post about. You can click the surprise me and you can come over here and it will give you a great post. And you can just keep clicking the button over and over again until you find a post you like, right? Until it gives you that. It's based on all the information you put it. So for this one, feeling empowered isn't just a moment. It's a lifestyle. Every step taken with confidence reshapes our destiny. How do you empower yourself and others each day? Share your stories below. Let's spread the inspiration far and wide. Okay, that is so good. I'm actually going to have to go make more posts now. So I'm going to work on this while we do the five minutes. Let's go put the timer up and I'm going to put that. It did turn out good, didn't it, Nina? I like the colors and it was really pretty. All right. I'm going to put the timer up. We're going to do questions at the same time as we do the timer. And if you, and if you want to showcase your post, I would love to showcase some posts today. Put your link in the chat. And we will actually, and then raise your digital hand and we will make sure to get you showcased today. Uh, let me go through. Um. Uh, Sophie, yes. Sorry, got a private message. Um, let's see. All right, so all the other questions. Um, yeah, stick around, Sophie. Um, all right, Sandra, let's go over to you. Good morning, Elizabeth. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Good. Looking pretty as always. I kind of drop off the wagon for a little bit here, but I'm back. Um, question. So should we do three posts a day? Is that the minimum that we should be doing on our social media platform? Perfect. This is a fantastic question. I'm glad you asked this. Okay. So this is the way I love to answer this because a lot of people will say, we'll just do this many posts. I, I think there's a caveat to that. There, there's, there's this, the best way to do social media posts is first of all, you have to be able to uh, have the time to respond to the comments on the posts. So let me, let me explain. If you make just three posts a day and you're busy and you don't have time to really work those three posts, you've lost a lot of conversation, uh, conversation, first of all. But the other thing that happens also is it actually hurts your algorithm to overpost when you're not getting comments and you're not doing reactions and things like that to that. So what I always say is, first of all, when you post, make sure that you're commenting on the first three comments as quick as possible. So it keeps it in the algorithm and keeps pushing it up through the newsfeed. The second thing is, is post as many times as you can keep up with the comments of. So there are people who post three times a day and they can keep up with the comments on those three posts just fine. There are people who are working jobs where they walk away from social media and they're gone for like eight, nine, 10 hours. I would not post, try to post three times a day. If you're one of those people, I would try to do one post and work that post because ultimately what you're wanting from the post is not just comments and stuff like that, but what you're trying to get is real conversations that come out of it. So as you comment in the comments back and forth, the goal is, is to take some of those comments and conversations into a messenger 
where from the messenger, hopefully that conversation will keep going to turn into a phone call, a Zoom, or a FaceTime. So you can actually have a conversation about your product or business. So I'm not a person who will say flat out, just post three. Post one, work those comments. And if you can keep up with more posts, three posts a day is great but you have to be able to keep up with the comments on that post or you can actually hurt yourself instead of help yourself. Does that make sense, Sandra? Yes, it does. It does make sense. And I was talking to someone um, the other day and they were saying that um, it matter to the timing of your posting. So like if you post maybe around eight, nine o'clock in the morning and then maybe do a post around three in the afternoon, three or four, and then probably about eight at night, um, you spread it out so then you have time in between to kind of respond to the post if you're doing three posts. That, that's assuming that, first of all, that you have algorithms, second of all, that you are able to go back and forth, and third of all, that you're making three different posts that um, come up with enough interest that people really want. I would rather personally have one post that I have 50 conversations on that keeps getting kicked up into the news feed that more and more people will see than three posts that hardly anybody's talking about. So that's just kind makes of the, my personal way of doing it. Yeah, and that really makes sense because if you do the one post and you keep getting, you know, comment and respond to it, uh, then the algorithm see there's action going on there and they will push it out. So it definitely makes it. Thank you so much for answering my question. Have you're a welcome. Love your smile. Keep smiling. <laughs> I'm, I'm just glad you're back. And please keep coming as much as you I, can. I never left, but I wasn't utilizing the system I'm yeah. supposed to, and I'm paying for it. And I'm saying, wait a minute. And I'm so happy that they brought on the video part now. So I um, just sent away for my first video. And um, yeah, thanks again. Love it. Love it. Oh, so glad you're here. Thank you, Sandra. All right. Uh, let's go over to Nina. I think she wants to showcase a post. Uh, Shantane, my vacation lady, I am happy to check my messages and uh, see what you, you've got going on. All right, let's go over to my Nina. All right. Hi. Hi, honey. Beach Five Weekend, Mission Beach Surf. Uh, Mission Mayhem Festival, pool, uh, family pool time. What was your weekend highlight? I if just... you're going to do a post like this, one of the recommendations would be is to make sure you have the tag for the people that were there so you already automatically have conversation. So should I put that in the comments since this is one of those ones where you can only do a certain number of I, th I think if I would have done this, I wouldn't have done it as a short text only post. I think if it was me and I wanted to do this kind of post, what I would probably do is take all of this, put it together with the photos and then tag some of the people that were in there. So they start commenting on the post because the problem is if I didn't go. I have nothing to comment on and it okay. just doesn't look like it applies to me and it can actually hurt your algorithm because nobody's responding. So I did that yesterday or sa uh, yeah, Saturday night or yesterday I did a post about the week that, that I did that with photos and, and tagged everybody. So should I just take this one down since I did that? Yeah. Uh, let okay. me, let me ask you this. What, what is the intent that you want for today in your business? What is it when you sit there and just kind of step back for yourself and think, okay, today I would, I, in thinking about your business today, I would like this, that's going to help me get move forward. What do you think that is? Uh, thank you. Good question. Um, it's really about me uh, growing my clientele in southern down south of in San Diego area La Jolla perfect many all that and perfect. just that I was there and highlighted I thanked everybody that came but but what is it that you want to do not past but want yeah. so it sounds like what you want to do 
is you want to build your clientele in the San Diego, San Clemente area, that whole yes. area. Yes. Okay. So some of the things that you can do, first of all, is post some of the photos of things that you've done and then talk about what you've been doing in the San Diego with area with that. And then, of course, with the question, you know, what 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 hairstyle are you looking for? Put some pictures down below of it. I'll tell you some tips on how to get it, you know, kind of thing. Okay. And so for the people that are actually in, so it doesn't just apply to San Diego, but the people who are in the San, uh, San Clemente, San Diego area will know that you are working that area, but then it also gives everybody else the ability to pitch in and be a part of the post also. Because anytime we narrow it down too much, then we we risk the, the n not having the comments that it's going to help the algorithm. Okay. So, so I'm give just that a shot and then post it later and then uh, just tag me in it or let me know. Yeah, I did. Know. Yes. And I'm, I'm just going to put the, the, I, I just copied it, the link okay. of one I did over the weekend. Okay. Thanks for your help. That's great. Well, you're welcome, honey. Okay. Any other questions or anybody else wants to showcase their posts? Hi, Sophie here. Sorry. Nice to meet you. And um, <laughs> So it's first time and I'm new to sort of the digital side of things. And I suppose what I'm trying to say is, you know, I really do follow suggestions, but I just saw the last slide, which was like, you know, in, it's almost like making inspiring investment through through things. Mm -hmm. um, and as I've got 20 years basically traveling the world as an action sports athlete. So I've wow. got the content, I've got the content and um I'd love to, you know, it's, it's a bit, if anyone needs anything, um, I kind of have the resources, but I don't know how to do it. And sort of, so this is very new for me um, to kind so of so like. Yeah, let's stop and let's get focused on one thing and let's yeah. try this because I think this will help you a lot. Yeah. What is your business? What, what do you want the outcome to be? I want to rehumanize social media and create connection through real stories. Okay. And lived Beautiful. experience. What is the payoff for you? Are you in network marketing? Are you in, what are you in? Because um, so I basically, doing. yeah, um, I basically deliver, I, well, I used to build brands basically through delivering content around their product. Okay, but what do you do now? This is, this. Well, I'm unemployed and after divorce and, and I'm starting, coach? I'm starting again. Um, You're so, starting what again? I'm starting life again. So I love, yeah, after life after divorce was pretty hard. And I now want to kind of do what I did, but in a digital world, which was create content to connect people and create community. Okay. All right. So you have, I'm assuming you have a business plan on how you're going to make money by doing this and you have yes. all of that set up. Perfect. So my suggestion would be, first of all, if, for the sake of time, keep coming back. You're going to learn yeah. a lot of things. Those of us who have been here for a long time have worked with uh, Tom Chenault, who I'm sure you are aware of, who is the king today, of yeah. connection. <laughs> and I was his chief of client success for four and a half years teaching yeah. all this. So you are in the right place, honey. Yeah. I, I suppose yeah, what it's kind of like is, is to just take what you've said and just keep coming back on a daily basis. I think it's reframing what it is that I want and actually just doing it and seeing what comes from it because yes yes it I, seems you know I kind of it seems weird the whole AI thing but maybe it's the right thing so I'm just gonna well, you know yes. <laughs> learn from yes. you guys I just wanted to say hi I, I I'm grateful you did and here's the thing to think about with AI a lot of people think you know they're they're worried about AI and things like that but what I truly believe about AI is it's not a replacement for our voices it is an enhancement to our voice to get our story out in a more clear way. And so that is how we're using AI here. So something to definitely yeah. think about. Okay. Yeah. It's Great. The only time, the only Sophia, thank the you only so much. And we'll, we'll chat more tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Any other questions today? Because I do have a hard stop coming up and I do want to make sure that I get everybody's questions answered. So Deborah, did you have a question, honey? 
Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Um, how do you tag somebody? What's the best way to tag? Because I just thanked a couple Perfect. of women that have been in my life and key transition in my life. And I listed their names, but I want to tag them as well. Perfect. Okay. Let's come over here and I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. All right. So you have a couple of things. So let's say, um, got to do this quick, but I think I can. Let me see if I can grab something super fast. Uh, okay. So I'm going to add a picture to my post. I don't know if I'm really going to post this, but I'm going to show you how to tag something. So I'm going to put this here. It was actually something I saw on social media that just inspired me, right? The rich people in the world are 74% entrepreneurs, 12% investors, 8% athletes, 4% artists, and 0% employees. Now, wow. I haven't done the figures of this. And of course, my business partner would be like, you better check those figures first before posting it. So I'm probably not going to post it. But... Let's say that um, I was super inspired by Nina's post. Okay, now she didn't post this, but you get the point. So super inspired by Nina's post. That's one way to tag in, okay? That is actually putting their name in there and showing that we're together in this and that, um, you know, I was super inspired by Nina's post. I'm tagging her. So she's aware of this. She'll get a notification of it. The other way to do this is if I was just saying I was super inspired by this post or I went to an event like Nina's event last weekend at Mission Beach if I was with her and I put photos in here, the other way to tag is right here to have to do this little person right here and to say, I am with this person. Okay. So that I am with Nina. And if I do that, then when I post it up here, it's going to say, I am with Nina. So those are the two different ways to post or to tag. And they're both done for different reasons. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Does that help? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. You're welcome, honey. All right. Ben, let's go to you real quick. I do have a hard stop coming up, so I want to make sure to get your question in super quick. Hopefully, we get you unmuted first, though. I'm a pretty good lip reader, but not that good. Can you hear me now? I can. Okay. First of all, Elizabeth, thank you for the information. It's very powerful. I learned a lot in such a short period of time. Uh, my question is, uh, when it comes to Facebook uh, personal page and business page. Do you have a recommendation of which one as we use this? Yeah. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of business pages anymore because essentially you have to pay for everything. And I they used to be a great thing many, 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 many years ago. And I did great stuff with them. Uh, not the biggest fan of them anymore. I do. I'll tell you what I've personally done that I've had great success with. So let me come over here and um uh, i'm going to share my screen and okay so i do a personal page and people think you have to have hundreds of thousands of followers uh alex hermosi had a podcast of a woman who had 5000 followers and makes over a million dollars so you don't need thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of followers you need your tribe, your people, right? And so I find one of the easiest ways to build your tribe is to do your own personal page. But I have personally set mine up and I switched it over to a professional account. So that's something rather new. That's not the same as a business page. So you take your personal account and then what you can do is these three dots right here. And then you can do... Uh, turn on professional mode. And if you do that, you get some additional things. You get some stats and some other stuff. And you can boost some posts and some reels. You can actually mm. boost some stuff and spend some money if you want to, but you still get, you could still build the algorithm in the natural way like you do with a regular page. 
So that's what I do. I've had great success with it. I build that way. I still build that way. And uh, it's been great for me. Okay. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Hard stop, you guys. So I do need to wrap this up. We'll be back tomorrow, though, at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific for My AI Live. And remember, bring your questions about social media, bring your questions about the AI system, bring your questions to uh, to be able to learn how to have this. And remember, everything's about authentic conversations. We're not here to sell ourselves to each other, right? Everybody is in agreement to that, right? We're here to support each other and build terrific businesses, right? Well, we kind of want to have that same approach in social media where we want to have authentic conversations and we want to be able to help one another be able to achieve the life they want. Zig Ziglar said, if you help enough other people, you can have anything that you want. So we go on social media with our authentic messages, helping people achieve what they want to achieve through our products and through our business and be able to achieve what we want to achieve by serving others. So let's get to it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, I think that's probably a mistake. Let's, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific for My AI Live. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you tomorrow. Feel free to unmute. Bye, everyone. Bye. Great class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Bye, everyone. Elizabeth, Elizabeth do you have two... Just a couple of minutes now. Are you? Um, I, 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 unfortunately, don't. I don't. I have okay, another training. I really Thank do. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow. But thank okay. you. Sounds good. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.